Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just a quick video on talking about pieces of eight, collections of pieces of eight, and if you should actually be funding your factories, and if it actually makes sense to fund your factories. And I guess the first thing to get out of the way is, what do you, what are you trying to get out of the game? Are you trying to be number one on the leaderboards, which there's a lot of exploiting and stuff going on, which the devs had addressed in the last deck in our live stream. So I, I wouldn't even really be pushing for that at the moment because uh, you're not gonna get number one. There's some pictures on Reddit that you, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about if you really want to know. But should you be funding your factories or what should you be doing with the actual helm materials to help progress um, more casually than just trying to be super sweaty and pushing the leaderboards? So let's take a look at the helm empire view and kind of see what I got going on. So I'm over a million pieces of eight. Everything that can be bought blueprint wise from uh, the black market I have bought. I own all the blueprints. Um, all my upgrades are done. Which this is important, by the way. You wanna you wanna do all your upgrades. Um, obviously there is some that you can uh, bypass, and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about in the video, uh, but I just went ahead and upgraded them all. Now let's go to the Empire view. So this is where you should be focusing. If you're wondering, if you're early on still and you only have the Red Isle, I would definitely recommend that your next territory you unlock is the Africa region and leave the East Indies. And I'm gonna get to the East Indies here in a minute, but I started ranking mine up to 10 and then I stopped right here, as you can see. And I don't even go over here and collect these. Now, if I was really pushing leaderboards, I'd probably go collect those. But I already have over a million, and the season has 67 days left. So <clears throat> what am I actually gonna do with all these pieces of eight if I'm not grinding leaderboards, right? So there's a couple things I wanna go over. So. It's, if you are going to fund factories, there are certain factories that you should be funding. This one, this one, anyone that has like major trade routes going to it, right? Like these ones. I mean, 522 an hour. So this one cost 173 juniper berries for 20 minutes and it pushes it to 900%. Now, if you were to do that, that sounds crazy, 900%, right? But as a maxed out level 10 factory, and I push the, and I and I pump the juniper berries in there every 20 minutes, it, I'm gonna have to pump it at least what, three or four times before it fills up. Where if I just let it sit, it's gonna fill up anyway, right? Like it's gonna fill up probably four hours or so, four and a half hours, it'll fill, it'll be completely full. Now, if you're trying to push the leaderboards, this is something you might want to do. But if you're just playing casual, um, or not, not even necessarily casual, if you're just not trying to uh, push the leaderboards, then you shouldn't be funding any of this stuff. Just let it, rank them up, rank them up as you can, as you have the pieces of eight. And with this total run right here, I get about 160,000 pieces of eight per run. Not doing any type of helm wager, not doing any of that. Just 160, 160,000. And like I said, I've already bought all the blueprints. I've already bought all the cosmetics you can buy with pieces of eight. Like I've done all that stuff and I still have over a million with 67 days left. So what's that, two months and a week? of still gathering pieces of eight and not having anywhere to spend them so you there is no reason unless leaderboards that you're funding these factories what's more important is having a steady silver supply and everybody knows how to make silver in the game and if you don't you're about to learn and it's with your gin your gold skull your gold skull rum your silver snuff and your black lotus opium okay refining your helm materials into these high-end products 
will, or is going to yield you anywhere from 100 to 150 thousand every time you sell. At, and it's going to be more than that with the new. Uh, I think it's coming in this rec this most most recent upcoming update on Tuesday that you're going to be able to sell out of your storage again because they disabled that a while back. But you're going to be able to sell this, and you're going to be able to keep your keep your silver over a million way over a million and the reason why that's important is because to actually keep these factories um, producing when they're level 10 it costs you about 32,000 to fund these right and you know that might not necessarily seem like a whole bunch but 32,000 times all this you know what I mean like it adds up quick so if you're just sitting at at a million by the time you fund these a couple days you broke um, the good thing about these level 10s, I just fund this one, is that it's funded for two days, two plus days, right? So that, that's good. Now, the reason why I say I don't even go over here is because there is real no, really no good route. I used to spawn here, hit these ones, come up here, hit these, hit these, shoot across. I can't loot Ustin for whatever reason. It doesn't allow me to acquire the pieces of bait. I don't know if anybody else is having that issue. So I left that factory kind of low. Then I would come over here and then I would circle around. And by this time, just looting this much of the, the, the Indies, if I if we were to go over here to Africa, I would be already down here. Like that's a, the difference on the time. Like it seems so far apart and there's really no good run to just kind of swoop around and, you know, come here come here come here come here all the way back over here backtrack come up here hit all these now there is some videos out there that are saying like only loot these and only loot these i'm telling you if you're not chasing leaderboards you don't got to do anything over here at all if you don't want to you're gonna have over way over a million by just focusing all your attention on the on the red isle and africa africa is important because it's got the biggest ones right so they're going to fill up the fastest. And if you aren't at this necessarily this point yet, you're going to get Harafu to 10 regardless. Like even if you got to pump all your pieces of aid in here. And the reason why I say that is you're going to be able to grab that, like I said, every four hours or so. So you're going to be able to, to do a full pickup, which is 4,500 on this every, every four hours. So that will help you uh, get the pieces of aid to fund all these other ones. Right, or to upgrade all these other ones. So the bottom line is, what the point of this video is, is should you fund the factories? I don't think you should, unless you're chasing leaderboards. You should save those raw materials, convert those materials, and sell them for your silver. You get silver, it helps you fund your, your factories. And until season two, I think this is how you should operate it. This is my opinion. You're gonna, like I said, you're gonna have well over a million pieces of eight. Like none of it, none of, none of it's really gonna matter. But if you're wasting all your materials funding these things, then you're gonna have a silver issue because you're gonna be spending all your resources. And granted, you could pick one resource to get rid of and convert the rest. Yes, you could do that. But if you, if you really want to maximize everything, this is, I, I believe this is how you do it. Rank these up to 10, Red Isle, Africa, level 10. You'll have well over a million. You'll have a constant flow of silver. Anytime you need it, you just go sell it. Um, and then obviously you have a lot of downtime where you can do your forts, your big forts, complete some contracts, get some more stuff, refine it, and it'll constantly supply your silver. So I think that is the best way to go about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything that I want to go over. Upgrade Har Harafu as soon as you can. Uh, there's another one too that's uh, this one. This one's a sleeper. This one gets th 338 an hour. So this one's a sleeper because it doesn't have necessarily a lot of trade routes. Uh, I guess it does a little bit. It's got five. But this one gains a lot of pieces of eight. So I think that one's overlooked quite a bit. So there's certain, these, these factories are the ones that you want to upgrade first. And I, I, you probably all know that. All these ones that have multiple routes going to it. And it will increase as you 
connect all your supply lines and it'll also increase every time um, you do your Africa upgrades, okay? So hopefully this video shines some light on some things on how you should be doing your pieces of eight. And if you're chasing leaderboards, then this video is not for you and you should go to uh, the funding videos. I'm not really into all that. Uh, I'm more to play the game on the content it has to offer. I'm, I've never been into really chasing leaderboards and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on my next video.